Okay, today's video, I'm going to explain why you should always make, maintain your oil. Um, not just the oil, air filter, the way the car breathes, and if you have any leaks, like you see over here, this is a front main seal leak um, that was leaking who knows how long, and ultimately destroyed, it destroyed the engine. Now, uh, the uh, it spun a bearing. What does that mean? That means that, like if you look at all these pistons, uh, all the connecting rods, you see that they're pretty much the same colors, except this one looks black, number five. And that's because of heat. And basically the bearing, the rod bearing goes inside there, that rides on the crankshaft. And it's supposed to be something like this, even though these are blown, but at least they're in a, still the same shape. The one that was in here is this, basically nothing. And that's what gives you that that, no, that that knock that you hear like when you start the car, if you'll hear that knock, that's engine knock. That's because there's play now. When the crank is going, when the crank is moving, it's banging, banging back and forth. And that's what basically hammers it, hammers it and hammers it. Okay, why did it do that? It ran low on oil. It ran low on oil because it had an oil leak. What I just said before, you always have to check underneath your car. If you have um, any kind of oil leak, you have to maintain it. You have to keep an eye on it. You have to, re you have to take care of it because you're gonna have engine failure and this is gonna cost thousands of dollars if you, don't, if, you, if you don't watch it. Now, the other bearings, they're gone too. They were on their way. You see, then they're, they're I don't have a brand new bearing, but basically what the brand new bearing is supposed to look like is something like this. Nice and smooth. You know, nice on this, not like this with grooves in it. See, I show you, these are all the bearings. Look at this bearing. Look at all the gouges in there. Look at the main bearings. Main bearing, look at that big gouge. Okay, that's dirt. Okay, it could be your air cleaner. Uh, over time, you don't change your air filter. You don't change the oil pro properly. You use cheap oil filters. All of that, that could be any engine. It doesn't matter if it's a Ferrari or a Fiat. Any engine, you have to maintain them. Um, so that was just basically, um, and over here, you know, like the side skirts are scratched. Like there's supposed to be a protective coating. You're supposed to pretty much see the coating, not worn off like that. Again, I don't have new pistons yet to show you, but it's supposed to be black like this, this big square. It's supposed to be pretty much black, pretty much black. There's nothing, it's worn and they're really tight. That's all about heat and lubrication and poor maintenance of an engine. So you don't just change your oil. You have to make sure the oil stays in the engine. Your air filter, you know, that can get into the engine, scratch everything and cause problems. Um, this, I'm going to rebuild this engine, but the crankshaft is destroyed. Um, i show you over here. Okay, now if you see the crank, actually there's a little oil on it, but it's darker than the others because of so much heat. And even this journal, even though, let's say if this journal, I mean, it could be polished up, there's really no grooves in it, but it's not the point. It's this one has all the ridges. And if you try to true that up, it's going to be out of spec and you're going to have to reground them all. So I'm just going to, you know, get another crankshaft. And you see the, the lines, this was the number five. And it had so much heat here. And this was cre creating that engine noise. And, uh... That's what caused the engine failure. Block is good. Um, let me show you the, the uh, basically the, it's about in, the oiling system and taking care of your oil, taking care of your oil level, oil pressure. I mean, these cylinder bores, they're lightly scratched, but as long as your fingernail can't get caught on anything, you know, they can't get caught. And there's not even a lip at the top. Usually there's a lip where the uh, the piston rings travel and they stop. There's usually a lip. There's no lip, so the block is good to go. It's a good, uh, good idea to magnaflux it. Make sure there's no cracks. Magnaflux is basically you put it magnetized with little metal flakes. And if there's any cracks, you'll see it. But this was not overheated, so there's really no call for that. And um, 
and you can just you know um, hone the cylinders. Put new. I'm gonna put hone the cylinder. Put brand new pistons and um, new piston rings. Hone the cylinders like I just said. Break it in, and you know it'll be good to go. All right. I did. I just uh, wanted to make a fast video on that motor car nut 2020. Please subscribe, guys. Any questions, just give me a, a holler. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.